Hello, this is Maggie from Austria. Um, I have so many projects in mind, but I want uh, to show you today. I saw Jan C. Art uh, on YouTube and he tested um, the consistency of the, um, the US flow drill to the over drill. And because here in Europe we just have the over drill, I mean, for a reasonable price, I want to give it a try. So he says 50 gram of the overtrail um, and adding 12 gram of water. So I'm gonna do this and test it with my colors. So I'm adding the overtrail. Let's see. 150 milliliters, 130 grams. So I'm making 150 grams. So it's three times 50. So I have to add three times 12. This is 36 grams of water. He made a drip test to get this ratio. So that the overtrawl is flowing the same way, in the same consistency as the US flow trawl. So I have 200 grams of this mix mixture and I wrote it down. I wrote an, and write it to your bottle. It's overtrawl 50 plus 12 H2O, which means water. In my case, it's distilled water because I, um, if you saw my paints, they're, la they're standing there for months, so I don't want to get them any smell. So I have these paper cups here. I love these plastic sticks because you can peel the paint off. Um, and I'm starting. Okay, let's start with 10 grams of the overtrawl. And I said two parts of this mixture, one part of the acrylic paint. So it's 10 grams of the overtrawl. I put five grams of the indigo de la Rowney. Okay, and give it a stir. And this is nice. It's like the greenish blue of Amsterdam. You be sure that you catch all the paint. And now it's still too thick. It's running from the stick, but it's still too thick because it leaves a mound on a mound on a mound. Maybe it's good for ring pours like that. And we're gonna test this another time. So let's see how much water we put. Normally I should put in there about three grams of water to it. Let's put one gram and see. It's still too thick. Two grams. You always add water a bit, a bit so because you thicken it to thin it. It's very much easier than to thicken it up again. So it's still too thick. So another gram of water. So I have ten gram of the overtrawl mix, which already has water in it, 5 grams of paint and 3 grams of water. It still leaves a little mound, a little trace. I cannot show you because you won't see it, I think, but it's flowing from the stick, you see. Um, maybe add another gram of water. So it's four grams of water, 
10 grams of my overdraw mix, 5 grams of the paint. And we will see if it's too much water for the paint, because if you add too much water, the binders will not help the color together. So it will um, have some, is it's called grazing, where the color is breaking when you blow it out. So it still leaves a little mound, but I think it's enough water. I'm adding a little bit of GUG 800. This is a new bottle. It was very um, hard to find this GUG 800 because everywhere it's out of stock. I got it at Gerstecker. If you're in Europe, maybe you know Gerstecker. So I'm adding one gram of the GUG 800. You can you try without, yeah, but the GUG 800 helps prevent, it says, that, um, low crazing, extender for pouring acrylic colors. So it's, it helps that the color is not crazing, makes it a bit thinner again. So what did I do? Four grams, let me write this down because it's 10 overdraw plus five paint, four water and one golden gag, 800. So the second one is Dale Rowney too, so I can do it the same way. grams again of the overdraw overdraw plus let's say plus water it's about a quarter water to it huh? 50 grams and 12 grams water it's like uh, 200 grams and 48 water it's a, a quarter so adding five grams of paint, 15. give it again a stir. Oh, I love these colors, Bela Rowning. I found them at um, Thalia in Austria. It's a bookstore, but they sell acrylics too. Has some clumps. So sometimes you have to stir, 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 stir. So adding four grams of water. grams and one gram of golden gag. <clears throat> Seems a bit thinner. No, same consistency. Maybe you see better here. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know where to put it so that you can see it. So I'm going like this. I'm testing the up gray colors. They were so nice. This um, I ordered the metallic paints from Upgrade, which are very nice. You can see it in my last, I think in my second or third last video. And um, they packed it the wrong way. They sent me two tangerine orange and uh, there was a deeper orange. They did a saffron orange they did not send. So I wrote to them and 
they came up they sent me a whole new pack of these metallic paints um, so the first one I bought the second one I got for free let's say and I have now the saffron orange so uh, we're gonna test them in the next videos again because I want to do these rainbow colors which are very nice on a white background and let's see so next color So again, 10 of this overdraw mixture. And five of the up gray color. It looks a bit like the pig bay or greenish blue. Wipe it off. It's really easy. Sometimes you color your fingers. <laughs> so, mixing this one. Seems to be a bit thinner. So, let's see. Adding. So, I add four grams. I had, I added four grams of water, so I will start with three. So, let's say two. And the metallics, they don't like water really much, but I always mix them the same. So, not thin enough. So, another one. But I think three is enough. With this color, with this brand. So, they are mixing ratios, okay? You can mix them all the same. Maybe it doesn't matter, but if you want to have the same consistency, sometimes you have to add less water. So one gram of golden gag. Maybe this helps so that the colors won't break. So let's see, we can test the consistency. Sometimes you have it in your fingers. I think now it's the same. So I put one gram less water. It's still flowing, flowing, flowing. That's good. Leaving a small trace and disappearing. Leaving a small trace and disappearing. Okay, so let's see what the Amsterdam does. Again, 10 grams of the overdraw mix. I like these bottles too for the bigger things because if you have a gunk in there, some clump, it does not come out. It just clogs up. And you see how I have to clean this. So I have this mini Amsterdam bronze, which is semi-transparent. Let's see what it does. I made a video about transparency of colors. In the outcome, they were nearly the same, but of course, laying over other colors, the other colors show through a bit more, if you have, even if, especially if you have a transparent color. So, you don't weigh anything, huh? 12, much paint. I see that this doesn't weigh so much as the other ones. So, 14. So it's 10 of overdraw and 5 of paint. One and two. So I'm adding 2 grams of water. 3 grams Okay, this should be enough. And again, one gram of golden gag. 
you can do it without the golden gag, but I experienced grazing in some paintings. So I better be on the safe side. Doesn't have to be much, but I experienced it helps. It's a bit thick still. You see, it drops down. Does not grow evenly, so maybe put another, put another gram of water. Few drops, you saw. It's just a few drops. Still does not flow the way I want it to flow. The metallics are often a bit stubborn because they have other kind of pigments in it. Maybe I put in another bit of golden gag in it. This is fluid, so it makes it a bit more fluid. Better. It's running, has to flow, run easily from the stick. It has air bubbles too, so it does not flow as nicely as the other ones. <coughs> so, but if you leave it a bit, the air bubbles will come to the top and you don't have any problems because they're lighter and they're coming to the top. So next one is the all and all times and famous 24 karat gold. I get it in these little bottles um, from what it's called, I think Evelyn Designs. You have to look it up. She has all these deco art colors for a reasonable price. Can't remember what this cost, but it was not um, not so much. Where is it? The scissors. This is a new bottle. So you might have experienced the addiction of the acrylic pouring. I have said it has a few stages. Um, first stage is you watch a ton of YouTube videos. Second stage is you buy a ton of equipment, colors. Third stage is, I don't know, pouring in the night. So concentration, five grams of paint. Fourth stage is setting up a painting uh, area in your office. So I've, I'm at this stage now, some stage now. Sometimes uh, I paint at my office when I'm testing something. <laughs> and somebody wrote on Facebook, and it was so funny because I thought, ah, that's the fifth stage. She went outside um, during the night in her driveway and uh, with her nightgown and took a photograph of her picture because it was nice lightning there, lighting, nice light there. Uh, so I think this is the next stage. You go outside in, during the night in your nightgown and take a picture of your painting. So again, a bit more of the golden gold. Let's see what the 24 karat does. The 24 karat gold, I've tested so many golds and like other artists, um, these makes nice cells. It has 20 degrees Celsius here. I mean, not too hot. This might be good for me to do all my resin pieces because I tried when it was colder and it was just a mess because it made all these, how do you call them, when you, it leaves white um, streaks on the, um, 
on the top of the painting. Maybe it was the heat, I mean the cold, let's see. So still a bit thick. Maybe put another, no, not more water. They don't like water. The metallics don't like water. What to do if it's not the same? It's still more thick and they thicken up a bit with time. So maybe this is good. You can... Okay, put another drop of water. Did I put just two? Maybe. It's while talking, yeah? I mean, you're talking. Yeah, okay. It has to flow. So I have these and to complete it, I'm doing the Winzer Blue. I like this one first, this one, first things first. 10 grams again of this. Let's do just four grams. Maybe adding a bit of a bit more of the of this one to make it a bit more fluid because it's more it's thicker. Ah, but it's not running the color. So adding water four grams we said. I think with this I'm on the safe side with four grams. So yeah, by consistency adding one gram of golden so ready i show you um how i mix my base paint i take this artina white um with these this overshell mix how much do i have left let's see So I put this in, it's 110. So I put 55 of the Artina, 110 grams of the Overtrol mix. I put the half of it, it's 55. So it's 55. And then you do your maths because three quarters of it is water. Three quarters of the paint measurement. So what do I have? It's 55 divided through four. It's about 14. 14 by 3 is 42 grams of water. Then. I had 70, 214. Maybe 208. I'm not sure how the consistency is. 